What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here and in today's video I want to walk you through how to use the Facebook lead form. Now, there's been a lot of chatter over in the Facebook group about you know how to use Facebook lead forms and what are they and what's the benefit and all that stuff. And so I just figured I'd just make a video really quick to show you guys how to set them up, what they are and kind of the benefit and all that stuff. So anyway, if you're going through and using a typical landing page website conversions like a lot of the things that I show you, um, what you're going to do is you're going to set up a conversion ad and when somebody clicks on the ad, they're going to go to a landing page and it's going to ask for their name, phone number, and email address or whatever type of contact info you're going for, right? The only thing is, is they have to go through and type in their info, right? Whereas a lot of times if you, they really want it, they'll put in the right info, but lots of times you get a lot of bogus leads and so that kind of can be tough there. So with the Facebook lead form, the benefit and the nice thing about it is there's this little form that, that when you click the ad, it pops up. And then you can ask for their name, their phone, their email address, their address. You can ask other questions as well. And then what Facebook does is if they have the information on file, like you know, when you sign up for a Facebook account, you're going to put in your name, you're going to put in their, your phone number a lot of times, you're going to put in your email address so you can log in. It's going to pre-populate that form. And most people in my experience, they're just too lazy to go like even if they don't want to give you the right info, they're too lazy to go through and delete it and go put in bogus info. So they just hit submit. And you're gonna get a lot higher quality information there, right? Now, some of the pros and cons, really quickly. One of the, I mean, obviously, we've hit some pros. One of the cons is if you don't have a solid CRM connected with your Facebook account, then what can happen is so, what happens is when they, when you go generate a lead with the lead form, it just goes into a CSV file inside of Facebook, which I'll show you guys here in a second. But then every time you like want to go get those leads, you have to download the CSV file, extract it, import it into a CRM. And so if it's not com completely synced, which we'll cover that as well in today's video, then it can be a little bit of a hassle. You don't have that automated follow-up because you're not going to really know when leads are coming in. All right? So let's, let's just start from the beginning. Let's start from scratch of going through and creating a Facebook lead form campaign. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Create Campaign right here. Okay. So we'll hit start over. So what we're gonna do, so is what's your marketing objective? It's lead generation. So if you wanna do the lead forms, it's the lead generation one right here. Okay, and we'll say lead generation, give it a name. We'll just say this is a demo one. And then we're gonna come through and it's gonna ask you, okay, what Facebook page would you like to create this from, right? So we come through, you know, you probably only have one Facebook page. I've got a lot of them here, but let's just say it's from the Jason Wardrop Facebook page. And then as far as the targeting, that's not really the concept of this video. I've got tons of videos as far as targeting goes and based on what campaign you're running and all that stuff. So we'll just kind of leave the targeting as is. I want to show you guys more of the lead form creation. So we just kind of go through, skip all this. This one we'll just leave on the news feeds, which I like to do anyway. Okay, we're just coming down. You set your budget. Let's say I like to set like start typically with a $10 a day budget just to get some good data coming through. Right, so we'll just come down. Um, we just leave all this stuff. So a lot of the stuff, just all hit really quickly, okay? So like you're targeting, you want to go through, change this stuff up right here. Um, your placements, you want to go through, put that data in, all right? And then your budget, you want to make sure you hit your budget. Then a lot of this other stuff, optimization for ad delivery, you can just leave as is because Facebook's going to take care of it for you, okay? So if we hit continue here, this is where we get into the ad creation as well as the lead form creation. So if you think about it, like you have your typical landing page that you, you've got for your business, right? Well, this lead form we're creating is gonna be in place of the landing page, okay? So it's gonna have them put in their name, phone, email, or whatever info they want. So we're gonna come down here. Like I said, once again, I'm not gonna go through, create the whole ad right here. We could just go, let's say, um, let's browse. The library let's just use an existing image so like let's say it's for a home right here we'll use that home right there and we'll say test ad and like I said guys I've got a ton of videos on like the ad copy and how to set all these ads up so I'm not gonna do this right here okay so we're gonna say test and then we'll just throw test and then call to action as you guys know I like to use learn more it just I, I feel like it's it works really solid okay so we come down here and we're doing all this and we're good to go Okay, so now this is just kind of the typical ad creation, ad setup, right? But what we're going to do now is down here, this lead form, 
Okay, choose a form to use in your ad. So these are ones that you can see I've already previously created. Um, what we want to do though, so like right here, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so they're going to go through, hey, download our copy and paste Facebook ad templates or whatever it is. They want to generate more leads. And then once they go through and submit their information, this is your thank you page or the page they see right afterwards. And then down here, we can actually um, add a link to your website, to your Facebook page, to whatever page you want. Okay, so what we're going to do, so we're just going to click create new form right here. Okay, so we're going to say, I like to go through and name the form. Just a really quick tip. Honestly, it's a pain to go try to change the name um, later on. So I make sure you name it so that you know which form we're dealing with. Okay, so we're going to say test lead form. All right. Okay, so now form type. <clears throat> so we're going to come in here and we can say, hey, more volume or higher intent. Okay, so let's see what this says. Use a form that's quick to fill out and submit on a mobile device. Add a review step that gives people a chance to confirm their info. So anyway, what I like to do, so like this is actually all of this is new. I know it says higher intent is new, but all of this whole concept is fairly newer. Um, I would go through and do the more volume one right here just to get like, just get their info quickly. Sometimes like it, this obviously is kind of going through and this is like a pre-qualifying step. You'll probably get more leads with this one right here. This one you could probably get more quality leads, but this, the thing is though, lots of times you could get a quality lead with this one, but just having that extra step, it kind of, it, it turns people off and so they're like, ah, I don't wanna do this, right? So anyway, this intro right here, you could have the headline, okay, we've got test headline and really what you wanna do right here is just kind of our strategy of going through and using our different landing page headlines. So for example, I've got this one right here. So let's pull this up. Hey, get instant access to the price and picture of this property. We just paste that in right there. Okay, so in, uh, let's see, get instant access to the price and then we can say, because it only allows you so many characters and property, okay? And then you can go through and you know have like a paragraph explaining stuff. You can have bullet points. We can say, hey, um, this is awesome because blank, okay? And so you can just you can like underneath this, this is kind of like where we've got the sub headline right there. So you could do bullet points like you have on some landing pages, or we could go through and say, hey, we just want a paragraph, and it says, hey, home and business market. So learn more by providing your info below. Okay, so we're just going through. This is basically just copy and pasting what you would typically put on a landing page, but you're just doing it on this lead form within Facebook. Okay, so now we have the questions right here. This is <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. This is basically what type of contact info you want to have and so what I like to do So by the order that you click them in is the order that they're going to show up So if you do first name and then you do email right up here and then phone number Those are the typical ones. I like to do you can go you can see all these other ones You can add you can add their address. You can add their you know state city zip code date of birth gender all this stuff but typically um, what happens is the more you ask for the lower your conversions Okay, so right out of the gate like if you have their first name you have their phone number and you have their email address That is enough to go through and get in touch with them get in contact with them and go through the next step So you can also right here. You could add a custom question Okay, you could say hey, I want it to be a short answer multiple choice so we could say like something like hey how soon are you looking to move right so we go in there we can add questions but typically what I like to do is wait and just get their contact info and do this on another step or in a follow-up email follow-up text message follow-up Facebook message or something like that okay and then as far as the privacy policy if you guys do have a um, privacy policy so I like to so we just type in privacy policy so if you guys do have a privacy policy on your website so for example we got www2, okay, right here. This is um, Arsenal's privacy pol policy page. And so I just throw that in there right there, okay? And technically, technically, you can use whatever link there and it's still gonna work and still go through. Um, but don't, <laughs> don't I, 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 you didn't hear it from me. So like you, you gotta go through, make sure you're, you're compliant, make sure you're using the right privacy policy link and page and all that stuff. You could throw in your Facebook page there and then if they shut the I've never had an experience where like the ad gets shut down because I'm not using a privacy policy page 
but that's something you just got to keep in mind there, okay? All right, um, and then right here, this last one, the thank you screen, you can say, you know, hey, thanks, you're all set, or you can say, thanks, um, we sent the info to your email provided. Okay, because somebody was once saying, I, I saw on the Facebook group, someone was saying like here, where is it? Right here, get instant access to the price and pictures of the property, submit. And they're like, well, like I'm expecting them to get that on the thank you page, which yes, but the thing is, is if you give it to them right there on the thank you page, a lot of times they'll give you bogus info because they're just like, oh, I don't need to give them info. I, I can just get on the thank you page, right? So this is gonna go um, solidify the quality of the information. And you're still giving it to them instantly, right? You're, you're still getting instant access. All they have to do is just check their email. Okay, so um, thanks. We sent the info to your email provided. And then you can see, um, hey, click click below to connect with me on my Facebook page or something like that. Like, depending on what link you send them down here on the website link, you could send them to your Facebook page, to your website to like a, you know, a messaging bot, you could send them to a lot of different things and say like, hey, and then they provide that next incentive to get them moving forward. So on the landing page or this, this initial part of the lead form, we say, hey, click here to get instant access to the price and picture of this property. If you want them to keep moving forward, okay, you need to give them some incentive to actually click view website, okay, or um, schedule a call with me and then you can go in and put in your calendly link okay so we'll just put like this calendly one right here so we go in schedule a call hey thanks we sent the info to your email provided um if you want to see this home this week click below to schedule a showing with me okay something like that like something that's going to be an incentive enough to get them to the next step and actually go through go forward with it right because if it's not enticing enough, people like they, they've been through these these forms before, they've been through the funnels, they've been through all the stuff. So it's kind of like, ah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I got I'm gonna get this stuff in my email. I just wanna look anyway. But you need to provide that incentive to that next step. Okay, so now that we've gone through, I believe this is everything that we've got that we need. Okay, I'm gonna actually go delete the um, I don't want this custom question right here. Okay, so you see we got the first name. So we've got get instant access to the price and picture of this property, um, learn more, um, first name, email, phone number. They hit submit, they go to this. Hey, thanks, we sent the info to your email provided. If you wanna see this home this week, click below to schedule a showing with me. Schedule a call with me, it goes out to your Calendly and um, they can set up an appointment with you, okay? So now what we're gonna do is click finish, right? Okay, so now this one is all set up. Okay, let me just see. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we would just hit um, confirm down here and then that would be running like a normal ad. So you're not gonna see this ad on your Facebook page because this is what's called a blind ad. So when you create the ad inside of Facebook Ads Manager, it actually doesn't show up on your Facebook page whereas if you create it on your Facebook page, it's gonna show up there. However, with the lead form, I don't believe, let me see if you can use an existing one. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, you have to create a lead form ad within ads manager. Okay. So it's completely separate. You can't use an existing post on your Facebook page. You have to create it right here. Okay. So now one last step guys, what's going to happen and let's just go back to the ads manager. Cause I want to show you guys this really quick. So basically you hit confirm you're done. Okay. So this is another one. You can see this would get getting pretty good results at just three bucks a day. So what will you do? You have to just click on this and go to the ad level and then you have to go and download the, the leads. So right, right here, I don't have access to this page anymore, but anyway, you would download the leads and it would come into a CSV file. Then you have to take that CSV file, you have to import it into your CRM, and it's a huge pain in the butt, to be completely honest. It's like, and you never know when leads come in, there's no notifications, there's nothing. So what we did is simplify that with Arsenal right here. So when you go to create a new landing page, for example, right here, you come down, and instead of choosing one of the landing pages, come all the way to the bottom, you see Facebook page lead ad. Okay, so now we're gonna just choose the Facebook page that we created it with. So I believe it was just my page right here. So Jason Wardrop, capture leads from the lead ads on page Jason Wardrop, yes. And then this is gonna pop up right here like it would if you were having a landing page, right? So this is gonna sync 
with the, the, the lead form that you created inside the ads manager. And then it's going to any leads that come in, they're going to come in and populate inside of your CRM right here. Then you can click on them, see what's, you know, what the leads all about, see all the info, see the history, see what emails they open, what, what uh, links they clicked on. So you can see, you know, you come in here, enroll in a sequence, add a tag, you say, okay, delivered email, delivered email, you can add tasks, all that stuff. Um, but also another key thing is you can add automated follow-up. So you can go through and have the automated email sent out, the automated text message and all that stuff. And it's all synced up. And obviously with Arsenal, when you get new leads, you get an email and text notification letting you know that a new lead came in. Okay. So this is just like, I'm not trying to like hard sell you obviously on Arsenal, but like this is just a big benefit if you're using lead forms to be able to go through and have the leads automatically sync into your CRM automatically get an email, automatically get a text follow-up, and automatically notify you of new leads that were generated. And also in that email or text, it'll have their name, phone, and email, or whatever information you collected. And so then you can go through and get in contact and follow up that person right away. So anyway, guys, hopefully this was helpful as far as the lead forms. If you guys have questions, if you're like, Jason, I don't, I'm not sure on this part, or I'm struggling on this part, just go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to go through and help. Uh, but I think this is probably a good rundown of getting started with Facebook lead forms if you're brand new to them and you're just like, hey, I'm not really sure how this all works, how this all goes. Um, and also, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you guys want new videos just like this every single day, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I launch a new video. I try to launch a new video every single day on how to generate more leads, make more money, and grow your business, all right? So thanks so much for watching today, guys, and I hope you all have an amazing day.